Hi, this is the explanation for the butterfly production, also known as Eerie Revelation. And for this, uh, you need two for the kind. Uh, in the performance, I did it with different four of a kind, but I will ex do the explanation with the four aces and the four kings. And if you want to do the revelation like I did, uh, to produce uh, the four kings first and then by turning around your hand showing the yeah, four aces as a kicker um, the setup is like this um, one face up king take any king face up then any face down ace on top this is the top stock and for the bottom the the order is from bottom to top, one face up ace, one face down ace, then a face up king, face down ace, face up king, and face down king. Okay, this is the bottom stop. And the rest of the deck comes on top of this stock. Alright. So once again, the top stock um, consists of two cards. One face up king, and on top of it, one face down ace. And on the bottom you have from bottom to top, one face up ace, one face down ace one face up king, one face down ace, and the last two kings are face to face, so one face up king, and the last king is face down. Alright, this is the bottom stop. So, you can start with the dribble without showing your setup. Then you uh, perform a slop shuffle, which is like this, you push off a block of the top so that you don't reveal the face up king All right. then you receive um, 13, about 13 cards with the right hand then you turn your right hand palm down and you, s you go on with the spread by receiving the cards underneath these cards. Again about 13 cards. Then you turn your right hand again uh, palm up. Only the right hand turns. Okay. Then receiving again about 13 cards. And the, then you have a remainder of 13 cards uh, in your left hand. And this will be flipped on top of the deck. Okay, like this. So, then you take a break under the top three cards. So, you obtain a break between a face down king and a face up ace. So, underneath three cards, you have a break. Then you cut these three cards to the bottom by performing a double undercut. You would transfer the break to the thumb of the right hand. Then you cut off a half of the bottom, put it on top, still obtaining the break here. Then you cut at the break and this half comes on top. Okay, so you've cut the top three cards to the bottom now. <coughs> then, for the revelation, you hold the deck um, mainly on the sides, on the long side. Then you pick up two cards from the top. Okay, push it outwards. Then you find the natural break where the king 
and an ace or face to face you obtain a break and also push the bottom half outwards okay so the bottom half you take here the break and push this half uh, to the front until it is a square with the top two cards here and now you take the room uh, the bottom two cards which are an ace and a king back to back and push them with your index finger down so the situation is like this you have on the bottom two cards in dropped then above you have a packet out dropped above that you have another packet in dropped and the top two cards are out dropped again okay then the positioning of your fingers are important for the revelation you take your um, left middle and middle finger and thumb and put it uh, approximately at the index of uh, the, the face up ace gripping both the bottom packet and the out dropped two cards at the same time and the same grip from above you take with your right middle finger and your thumb uh, the, the middle packet and the two cards on the bottom like this all right so then you slide back with your right hand um, until um, one third of the card length is left then you push up with your right hand and loosening the grip of both fingers so that the two cards can flip All right. when you're in this position you turn your right hand anti-clockwise and your left hand clockwise so that you have at the end you regrip with your left hand to put the left thumb on top to fixate everything. Okay, then you have this um, cross like revelation showing the kings, and by turning your left hand on down, you can re um, reveal also the four aces. I hope it was clear enough. If you're not sure, <coughs> you have uh, the advantage that you're watching a video so rewind and watch it again i think it was um, slow enough all right practice and have fun with this a uh, nice revelation beautiful revelation i think and yeah then you go you can go on with any trick when you where you need um, two four of a kinds have fun with it bye